So let's look at an example here of how we can find similar Facebook pages to current established pages already and then we can target to people in those niches. Say if I have a new clothing brand of trendy female clothes, Revolve Clothing would be a smart similar page to target, right? So first go to the page of the brand that is similar to yours. Delete the www and replace it with graph. So this code is going to display what your ID is for this page. So copy that. And using that same link I gave in the PDF in the last section of this course, from ID equals, you'll just paste in the ID, enter. So now this displays pages similar to revolveclothing.com. So not only when I'm in Facebook ads, I can push to Revolve Clothing, but I can also advertise to these similar brands, these similar pages to Revolve Clothing. So what do I mean by that? These are similar pages. Let's go to an ad. This is a page likes ad. You scroll down to interest. So we have revolve clothing.com. That was our initial one, but we did this similar search, right? To find other brands like revolve to push to Tom Ford. There's a great one. Tom Ford. Here we go, and there's a few things similar. Maybe these are some smaller, yeah, Tom Ford label, but add them all because they're all relative to Tom Ford, right? So I would just do that again, Tom Ford. And do it for each one. But we wanna add each one of these that are very similar to our brand and people who like these pages, a girl who likes Tom Ford, who likes Theory, who likes Rag and Bone, would most likely like our page, right? So we're promoting to people who are similar to our page. So this is why I love the interest area on Facebook ads and using this pages similar to function with this from page ID.